previously on Green Aqua. We start from this tank and you're gonna be the one who will decide on the style. Cool. And uh, we'll decide on what kind of hardscape goes into this and what kind of soy we use into this. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. In the last episode, we started building my very own home aquarium. Yeah! So we already put the soil in and some of the hardscape and we already selected the plants. So we will see in this episode how we are gonna build the whole thing and fill it with water and also some fish. Right, and also we're gonna have to tweak the hardscape a little bit before we start planting. So I'm gonna remove this. I've got the pecho <laughs> chart, and some people do not know what that is. Can you explain to them? I think you can um, assume what this is just from looking at it because uh, it's so full of coins that it's obviously bees. We started that in yes. the first episode then. And, and also, you, you got your very last one that I have, you also got but it right I didn't now. do anything. You can only fill it up when you, I you do don't something. Even, you don't even notice anymore. No, it did, yeah. did it happen? <laughs> they did. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so small pebbles. These will go to the foreground because you told me that you want some small pebbles in the foreground. Oh, you were listening. Some plants will cover it partially, so we actually need to be careful with planting, but because we're gonna have hair grass in the foreground as we discussed in the last video, it's not gonna be a problem. Planting wise, where do we start? Do we start from the front or do we start from the back? Are you asking me or are you well, explaining? Different people have different preferences. I would start with the back. You would? Mm. Okay, so let's start from the back and get the big plants well, in you're first. You're the expert, so. I need the uh, Cyprus Helfery plant and Gary is here to help us. Oh, yes, Gary is my Gary. favorite man. I'm gonna show you what, what I do with this and then you can do the second one, okay? okay? Take this bunch, split it in two, mm -hmm. tear it out, and then you've got two pieces. Magic. Okay, magic. I'm gonna take my favorite ADA pincets. Wow. That's a bigger one than the one I use. The point of these tweezers is that the tips are narrow. And if the tips are narrow, then you will be able to put this inside and then release and then take the whole tweezer out mm -hmm. without bringing the plant with you. So it will not tear out the plant from the soil. You need to wet the soil first, so Gary is gonna help us. Planting in dry soil is not as easy as planting in wet soil, so we should do that. You push this in right here a little bit. Take it out just a little bit to straighten the roots. Mm -hmm. Release the tweezers and jiggle it a little bit and you take it out. And that's okay, it. Okay, I, I think I can do it. Okay. Always hold the, the plant with one hand and then use the tweezers and then you catch it. Yeah, that's it. Thankfully, I have yeah, small Yeah, you push hands. it in all okay. the way. More. More, 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 more. This is gonna float up, see? Mm -hmm. It doesn't hold. You started moving in with the tweezers yeah, but, but not the with plant the plant didn't go. Yeah. Okay, so you need to hold it firmly. Then you move it in all the way in more, 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 a lot more. You need to push it in. Take it out. There's another mistake that you did. Very difficult. I didn't realize that. that yeah, it, it is very this. difficult. When you pushed it in, you released this a little bit. Did so I? You push it in. There you go. And then release. Jiggle it when you take it, small jiggling. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. <gasps> did I do it right? Yes. Yay. Third take. Perfect. Yay. High five. High five. Holding firmly. Out of the way, flamingo. Okay. Yeah. Okay, jiggle, 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 jiggle. Perfect. It's in. Yeah. Is it? Is it good? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Let's go. Now speed. <laughs> no! <laughs> you know how quickly we do this. You should be worried you're gonna lose your job. I know. I'm worried. Let us know, guys, if you want chills to be present in our videos more. You guys have the opportunity to learn aquascaping with her, together with her. So this is really cool. It can be a whole series, right? Okay, so we're ready with the planting in the background. Yay! And we are the champions. Absolutely, you are. Mm. And the next step would be uh, using these ferns that we selected last time. Do you remember the name for this? I promise I won't test you, but... It's, it's some kind of bee. Bull, 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 bull
good bulbitis. So these are also epiphyte plants, plants mm -hmm. that grow on wood and rocks. They don't need substrate. I like to take one bunch of this, combine it with the other one mm -hmm. because it has a different leaf structure. Try to find a crack and then I'm going to just tuck this in with my hands and making sure the crack holds the whole plant. This is going to look so great when it's done. I see the colors, how well they match. I, I really like colors. Pair them together, find a nice little crack where they can live. I'm also helping you. Thank you. Here, I would expect a little bit of valley in between the rock and the wood. Can I take it out? Mm -hmm. So I would probably leave this here and then try to put this in the middle somewhere. And now we have a uniform bush in the middle. Now we have the middle part ready with all the big ferns. Yes. So these Anubias plants will have rhizomes and these rhizomes will spread them out. So you can actually take them apart along the rhizomes, you see? I would suggest to combine it with the Bucephalandra, which is the Bucephalandra Kedagang, reddish Bucephalandra. We like that a lot because it will add a little bit of color mm -hmm. to the scape itself. Should I put it um, in between the rocks? You can, absolutely, yes. Then I'll just put it here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. The idea is do not push it into, into, the, soil. The, into the soil, so it should not get in contact with the soil. You can put it in between the rocks. Okay, I did, I just pulled it. You can move the rock a little bit. Yeah, now it's final physics And then too. squeeze it in between those two mm -hmm. and then just push the rock back. Okay. And then it will, yeah, now it looks it good. will hold it in the place. This glass is so clean that I just keep wanting to... Yeah, reach through. <laughs> yeah, reach through it. You put it upside down. Did That's I? Pro yeah, you did. Oh. And then this one is Sorry, released. plant. Can't wait to see this whole thing coming together. My husband's gonna love this. We talked about uh, her husband in the last episode. Yes. He's a civil engineer, so he will find it very relaxing to yes. maintain this I tank so. and just to look at it. I think he will. I, I keep losing my tweezers. Do you have an idea where I left them? You can choose the, the longer one, or you can choose the, the shorter one. It depends on, on what your preference is. You like it short or you like it long? <laughs> I just said <laughs> <shut> that. <laughs> I just had to ask. No, I, I don't care. You like, okay. <laughs> You're gonna get this one, whatever. What you do is you take a bunch of this, and if you have some things hanging, you just tear it down. You push it in, and then same way we you did. release it. But this is a little bit more difficult to use. Let's take these bunches, mm -hmm. and let's push the, them in along the front glass, right. one by one. You're like so that. talented at this. Look, 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 now it's Perfect. good, yes. now it's better. Ah, oh, it comes back. It does. Stupid plant. <laughs> <laughs> don't mock the plants. Sorry. You don't hold the bunch from the sides. You're trying to push the tweezers in okay. between, and then the friction will be too strong. You know what it reminds me of? What? Fake eyelashes, because that's exactly how you take that on. Oh, really? One by one. I yes. wouldn't know. We have many lady viewers. Oh. Not many, but like, like, I would say... Two. No, two. <laughs> <laughs> we need more ladies in the hobby. Come on, ladies. Subscribe to this channel. Hairgrass is one of the most difficult plants to plant if you plant it in these big bunches. But if you make a smaller bunch, you would be able to plant it more easily. But for the video shooting purposes, I always plant five times as many plants as needed. Next plant, Monte Carlo. That is not an epiphyte plant, but we use it a lot in between the cracks of the rocks. And what I'm doing is I'm just using smaller bunches of Monte Carlo and I'm putting that at the basis of the structure itself. Don't put it in, in the front, hey. Why? Because it's gonna be a bigger, ah, maybe yes. Yeah, See, you're cool. It you're a natural. It looks good there. Yeah. Oh, there are more plants now. You want those plants to disappear, right? Yes. 
because then the blending is over. <laughs> so actually, I mean, it, it, it looks really nice, but just planting it is hard. Good thing about aquascaping is that it's a trial and error hobby, which means you have to try more out. like error for me. Well, it's more error in the beginning, and then as time passes by and you get more experience, you will get better. So the question came from Gary, do you need more? So what do you think the answer is? <laughs> of course, yes. It always, with me, it's always one more, like a child. There's a little bit of space between the cypress hell fairy and the wood. And the longer grass, which looks exactly the same like the short one, it's only that it's like 10 centimeters high, that will look very good there. It's you easier start? than the small ones, a lot easier. So I'm going to just put in the third and the fourth tube. This whole aquarium will survive with two lights, but if you want a more vivid look, then you should really use four. If you have CO2, you can afford it. If you don't have CO2 injection, then you should not have more light in the tank because you will have algae. Three lights, four lights. Wow. Is it better? This is the... Uh, CO2 diffuser. Mm -hmm. It will take in the gas and it will diffuse it into the water. Actually, you can use this set without any boost. So you can use it with internal filter and you can use it with the uh, two LED tubes that comes in. You just have to plant it, fill it up, and use it as it is. But in our case, we want to have CO2, we want to have external feature for safety, we want to have four lights for strong lighting. And with that said, I think that we are ready for today. Yay! I can't wait to have this in our living room. Do you think that this is too much technology for a women's hobby? That, no, that's sexist. <laughs> is it? No, I wouldn't say that it cannot be a women's hobby. Okay, that's... I think they probably just never heard of it. And let's continue moving. with moving. Yeah, yes. moving this tank. Yay! High five again, thanks. High thanks five. Thanks for the help. I'm so proud of this, actually. Are you now? Yes. All right, so we're gonna fill it up with water. And then the moving part, right now. Moving a small tank like this is relatively easy. All you need to do is remove the water, leaving about 10 centimeters, 5 to 10 centimeters at the bottom. Then you pack up all the gear and all the water you removed. And then make sure that the hardscape is fastened so that it doesn't move during transportation. We will continue by adding a foil on top to preserve the plants from drying up, basically. Then you carry out the tank, put it in the trunk, Faster, guys, faster. See how beautiful it is? Then you pack up the cabinet to prevent it from scratches due to the transportation. Then you're good to go. The destination of our journey. Chills is already waiting for us. Wait, does she live in a bush? It seems like. What's happening there? Oh, there's the gate. There you go. There's the house. There's the room. It's full empty. Do you guys sleep on the floor? Okay, so the cabinet has found its place. Now it's time to carry in the beautifully made planted tank. Put it on the top. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Front towards the enemy, guys. Front towards the enemy. Better now. Make sure you align it properly with the mat below it. Take in all the gear. Take in all the stuff that's needed for the tank. Take in all the water. Very heavy. That's the Seachem water carrying equipment. Install everything and then you're done. Enjoy. Thanks V. 
So as you can see, we are finally home and the guys are already filling up the aquarium. They will give me some advice how to maintain it in the coming weeks and I'm pretty sure you will see it on this channel. Also, sorry if this sounds a bit echoey, but as I said, this room is under construction, so it's still pretty much empty, but this will be a very nice element. Thank you very much for being here with us today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time supporting this channel. We'll see you next week. Bye.